Hello, students of grade nine. Uh, I hope you are all fine. Uh, this is a new mathematics worksheet solution. It is uh, worksheet solution number three, 13, related to lecture 13, lines and circles, part one of our lesson in semester one, the academic year 2020-2021. So now we are going to practice exercises on this lesson. Exercise number one, given the adjacent figure, so we have a figure here, as you can see, and we have MB is tangent to the circle at B, and O is the center of the circle. So I want to ask you, if MB is tangent to the circle, what does OB represent in this circle? So OB is a radius. Since O is at the center and B is on the circumference, so OB is a radius. What does OL represent? Of course, OL is also a radius since O is the center and L belongs to the circumference of the circle. Why did I uh, when I draw a drew triangle OBM, why did I use here the right angle, the sign of the right angle at B? Because in this lesson or in this lecture, I uh, taught you a very important rule, which is whenever we have a tangent to any circle, this tangent will be perpendicular to the radius at the point of tangency, which is B. So it's very important to know that angle OBM is a right angle at B. Part one, we should calculate the length of MO if OB is four centimeter and MB is two radical seven centimeter. So as you can see, since triangle OBM is right at B, we have the length of OB, we have the length of BM, we should calculate the length of MO. So here we can apply Pythagoras theorem, which is the hypotenuse OM squared is equal to the sum of OB squared plus MB squared. I have the length of OB, I have the length of MB, so we can simply calculate the length of OM. So, after we apply the Pythagoras theorem, we replace OB by its measure, which is 4 squared plus MB is given 2 radical 7, we also replace it squared. So now let's calculate 4 squared, its answer is 16. 2 radical 7 squared, its answer is 28. How? Since 2 squared is 4 and radical 7 squared, the squared cancels the radical, so I get 7. So 4 times 7 is 28 then MO squared is equal to 44. I don't want MO squared, I need to calculate MO. Then MO is equal to radical 44. Here we do the prime factorization of 44 as we learned before. Then MO is equal to radical two squared times 11. Then MO is equal to two radical 11 centimeter. In exercise number two, the same exercise but part two, we should now calculate MB if OB is equal to five centimeter and MO is equal to eight centimeter. So we have the measure of OM, we have the measure of OB, we can also calculate the measure of MB using the Pythagoras theorem in right triangle OBM. So we say, in triangle, in right triangle OBM, right at O, uh, sorry, right at B, we apply the Pythagoras theorem, which is the hypotenuse squared. So MO squared is equal to OB squared plus MB squared. Now I replace MO, I replace it by its measure, which is eight and squared equal, I replace OB by five squared plus I leave MB squared as it is. Since I need to calculate, this is missing, I need to calculate the measure of MB. 
So eight squared is equal to 64 equal to five squared is equal to 25 plus MB squared. Now MB squared is equal to 64 minus 25. MB squared is equal to 39. I need to calculate MB. So I do MB squared radical MB squared is equal to radical 39. Then MB is equal to radical 39 centimeter. We cannot reduce the 39, so we leave it as it is. Now in part three, we should calculate the measure of MB if ML is equal to seven centimeter and OB is equal to five centimeter. So now I have the measure of ML. I don't have the measure of MO. How can I find the measure of MO? We know that MO is ML plus LO. We have the measure of ML, which is seven centimeter, and OL is equal to OB since OB and OL are both radii. So if OB is equal to five centimeter, then OB is equal to five centimeter. So seven plus five, then the measure of MO will be 12 centimeter. Now I have the measure of MO, I have the measure of OB. Now I can calculate the measure of MB also using the Pythagoras theorem. So we say, O in triangle O, B, M right at B, we have to apply the Pythagoras theorem, then O, M squared is equal to M, B squared plus O, B squared. Now we replace the given, we replace M, O by 12, 12 also squared equal, O, B we replace it by 5 and we leave M, B as it is. So now 12 squared is 144, 5 squared is 25 MB squared. So MB squared is equal to 144 minus 25. MB squared is equal to 119. Then MB will be equal to radical 119 centimeter. So as you can see in this question, we applied the Pythagoras theorem, which is a very important theorem in mathematics. We applied it in this question in many, uh, in many situations or in different situations. Exercise number two, given a, triangle, a circle C of center O and radius of three centimeter. So we draw a circle C uh, of center O and radius three centimeter. A point A, A is a point such that. So we have taken a point, sorry, a point A outside the circle such that OA is equal to six centimeter. Now through A, we should draw the tangent to the circle, which is AT and T is the point of tangency. We should calculate the measure of AT is how much. So here we should calculate the measure of side AT. Also, since AT is a tangent to the circle and OT is a radius, then we have a triangle OTA is right at T. Since we have a very important rule, which is the radius and the tangent at the same point will be perpendicular to each other. We have the measure of OT, which is a radius, which is a three centimeter. We have the measure of OA, which is six centimeter. We can now calculate the measure of AT also using the Pythagoras theorem. So we apply the Pythagoras theorem and TA or AT will be equal to three radical three centimeter. Now in part two, Line OA cuts the circle at point M, then M is on the circumference of the circle and OM is a radius. We should calculate TM now. So we know that the triangle OTA is right at T. OA is what is a hypotenuse in triangle OTA. Since OM is a three centimeter, then M will be the midpoint of OA. 
So in this triangle, since M is the midpoint, then TM will become a median segment in this right triangle. And we know that the median segment in a right triangle is equal to half the hypotenuse. This is the median segment theorem. So TM is equal to OA over 2, then TM will be equal to 6 over 2, TM is equal to 3 centimeter. So till now in this question, in part 1 we applied the Pythagoras theorem, in part 2 we applied the median segment theorem in a right triangle. Now in part 3 we should deduce the nature of a triangle OMT. We know that OT is a radius, it's equal to 3 centimeter, OM is a radius, it's equal to 3 cm, and now we calculated or proved that TM is equal to 3 cm. So since triangle OTM has three equal sides, each side is equal to 3 cm, of course, this triangle will be an equilateral triangle. We know that an equilateral triangle has three equal sides. Now in exercise number three, let's see be a circle of center O and radius two centimeters. So we draw a circle of center O and the radius is 2.5 centimeter. Let EF be a diameter of this circle. So this is the diameter EF of the circle. And A is a point outside the circle, but it belongs to line EF, such that AF is equal to four centimeters. So the distance from A to F is four centimeters. M is a point on the circle, so M belongs to the circle such that if I join AM, it will be 6 cm. We should prove that AM is tangent to the circle. So how can we prove that AM is tangent to the circle? I, I want to think of this question, how can we prove a tangent to the circle? If the tangent was perpendicular to the radius, then this, uh, this tangent will be, uh, this line will be perpendicular to the circle, so uh, tangent to the circle. So if I can prove that AM is perpendicular to the radius OM, then AM will be tangent to the circle. How can I do this? So, Oh, first of all, how much is OA? OA is OF plus FA. OF is 2.5 centimeter and FA is 4 centimeters. So if I add 2.5 plus 4, I get the length of OA, which is 6.5 centimeter. So I have the length of OA and I have the length of OM, which is 2.5 centimeter. So now if I can use the converse of the Pythagoras theorem, which says, if we can prove that the triangle OAM is right at M, then AM will be tangent to the circle. So if I can prove that OA squared is equal to OM squared plus MA squared, then it will be a right triangle. So OA, is how much it is 6.5 centimeter what will be oa squared it will be 6.5 all of it squared which is 42.25 what is om om is a radius so it is 2.5 centimeter i need om squared which is 6.25 I need AM squared. I know that AM is 6 centimeters, so AM squared will be 6 squared, which is 36. Now, if I add OM squared plus AM squared, so if I add 6.25 plus 36, I will get 42.25. Then OA squared is equal to OM squared plus AM squared. This is the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. Then triangle OMA will be a right triangle at M. Then OM, which is the radius, is perpendicular to AM. Then AM is the radius, sorry, AM is the tangent to the circle C. 
In exercise number four, given a circle C, of course, I use the compass to draw a circle C of center O and radius of three centimeter. AB is a diameter and CD is a diameter. And AB and CD are two perpendicular diameters, so they are perpendicular to each other. Now the tangent to the circle at D, so if I draw a tangent at D to the circle, it will cut BC, so I should elongate BC. It will cut BC at a point which is I. So I, I need to know here, since ID is tangent to the circle and OD is a radius, then ID and OD are perpendicular to each other. Now, we should show that B is the midpoint of IC. If I look here, I will see that line OB is perpendicular to CD. Since OB is a radius, it is perpendicular to diameter CD. This is given. And I have ID perpendicular to CD. Then OB and ID will be parallel since they are perpendicular to the same straight line, which is CD. Now we know that O, which is the center, it is the midpoint of segment CD. Since OB is parallel to DI, then applying the converse of the midpoint theorem, which says that two parallel lines, one of them is passing in the midpoint of the first side, of course, it will pass in the midpoint of the second side. So B will be the midpoint of CI applying the converse of the midpoint theorem. Now we should calculate ID. How can we calculate ID? Also using the midpoint theorem, we know that ID, sorry, OB is equal to ID over two. I know that OB is a three, is a three centimeter, then ID will be equal to three times two, which is six centimeter. Now we should calculate the length of segment IC. We have segment CD, which is six centimeter. We have the length of ID, which is six centimeter. We can calculate the length of CI applying the Pythagoras theorem. So in right triangle IDC, I have IC squared is equal to ID squared plus DC squared. If I replace, I will get IC squared is equal to 72. Of course, I reduce 72 using a prime factorization. So IC will be equal to 6 radical 2 centimeter. So this was the uh, solution of worksheet 3 of lecture 3. I hope you all solve these exercises and the practice them. Please check the worksheet solution to know if you have solved in a correct way. Of course, as usual, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact me. And thank you, my lovely students, very much. See you soon.